Hello everyone, in this episode of Prompt of Ledger, we are going to try to implement a liquid glass um, using uh, Flutter. So for the purpose of that, we're going to build an Airbnb clone, but we're going to try to make the listings in the home screen more glass morphic, also known as liquid glass. So let's jump into it and tell it create an Airbnb clone but make the cards in the home screen glass morphic and once I click on a listing navigate to a listing page and make it glass morphic to apply that to the buttons so and let's go ahead and see what happens um so in the meantime um guys always remember that the first 10 generations are free for prompt of letter so you can go ahead and create an account and play with the product it's really interesting and also give us feedback i mean we really want some feedback um, also an opinion about liquid glass it's basically glass morphism uh, which is a common term in the web development and it's what basically windows vista and 7 look like so that's this is the, the code generated by the the prompt of letter model and now let's click on preview and see how this code really looks like okay um so let's try to scroll so um we need to change so it looks like airbnb but definitely we need to change the, the background so let's make it a phone size so I, again there's uh the full screen view just clicked on it and now i'm making it um I'm trying to make it look like a phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on one of these listings. Okay, so uh, I I think the we need to make some changes here. So let's go back and let's try the edit mode um, until it make the listings glass morphic and apply glass morphism to the listing page make the background transparent and glossy okay. mm -hmm. So now it's editing the code that already generated in the first prompt because it did not um, implement gl glass morphism the way I expected it to do it. So now I told it to make it more glass morphic. So it generated a glass morphic screen, but the, the white is dominant. So let's see what happened now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now it's, it's great. Now it makes more sense. So let's go ahead and go full screen again. Let's try to make it the size of a phone. Okay. So you see that the the items are now more glass morphic. So again, this is not. Um. So now the cards are more glass morphic. So yeah. The difference is that here it applied an image to the background the same way Apple showed the icons menu um, in the in the new version of iOS because there has to be a background for the glass morphism to make sense. So it put that picture 
uh, as a background and then it applied the glassy effect to the to the cards and there's um if we go ahead and click on view details so yeah it keeps the image in the background and it adds this glassy effect to all the cards and buttons um and this to be frank looks nice looks glass morphic uh, again we can sh see it again in the brow in the um not full screen mode so this is the search bar also glass morphic and there's the cards and then when you click on one card it shows you the details of the listing with a navigation button that's also glass morphic um this is i think this is pretty good as a starting point so you guys go ahead and play with the product and give us feedback in the comments and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like thank you so much bye bye